I'm going to guide us through a journey and you can choose to follow me or you can do something else that, work, that works better for you. It's, if you have like a bolster, a block and a strap, that makes it a little easier. Um, and we're going to stay on the mat all the time. We're going to move slowly and then we're going to find certain postures where we stay up to like a minute or two which is a long time, that's a really long time. Um, and that's when it's helpful to have some support so we can stay. And we are looking for discomfort, but no pain. Discomfort, but no pain. Okay, and then we're gonna end with a, a Shavasana, about like 10, maybe 15 minutes, like around 10 minutes of a uh, Shavasana at the, at the very end. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start in something that my teacher calls constructive rest, which is laying down on your back with your knees bent about hip distance apart, palms facing up. Constructive rest, one of my favorite postures. And then uh, if you want to, you can lift the toes, lift the heels. Just notice the connection between the soles of your feet and the floor. And then coming to stillness. And then maybe notice all the, the, the parts of your physical body that are connecting with the earth, such as the soles of the feet, the back of the pelvis, back of your shoulders, the back of your head, and parts of your arms. So just notice the parts of your physical body that are connecting with earth. And then if you want to, you can place your hands on top of your belly. And then bring your awareness, your breathing. Noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. And then maybe notice how the belly is rising on the inhale and moving closer to the ground on the exhale. Okay, and then we're going to start to move the body, bringing one leg up towards the ceiling, and then the other, and then the arms, and then bring both arms and legs up towards the ceiling, just moving around uh, like a baby in a crib, exploring legs and arms, bending, stretching. Maybe open and close the fingers, maybe spread the toes, just moving around. And then bringing the right knee into your chest and let the left leg go long. And then bring your awareness to your breathing. Notice the inhale, 
Notice the exhale. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into tree posture on the floor. Now it's convenient to have a block or something. So you're gonna move that knee out and use a block or a bolster to rest it. So you feel a little bit of discomfort, but no pain. And then place the arms in cactus. And here we're gonna stay for at least 30 seconds. Now bring your awareness to your breathing. Imagine how you're filling your body with something soft and warm on the inhale. And on the exhale, how the body is getting heavier and sinking closer towards the earth. Notice how your left leg is getting heavier. The right knee. The back of the shoulders. And the arms. Okay, and then we're going to slowly come out of that posture. Now we're going to use a strap. If you have a strap, that's helpful. Bring the right knee back up, uh, back into constructive rest. Uh, you can give yourself a hug first. And then place the strap on the right foot. If you don't have a strap, you can hold on to your leg. And then stay here, breathe, and then slowly allow the left leg to slide out long. Find any tightness in the body. And breathe into that tightness. Use the inhale to expand around the tightness. And then the exhale to release the tightness. Inhale to expand, exhale to release. We're gonna stay here for like 30 seconds.
and then bend the left leg, release the strap, and come back to constructive rest. If you want to, you can bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, maybe rock back and forth a few times. And then hold on to the left knee, extend the right leg. Bring your awareness to your breathing. Inhale to fill your body. Exhale to release. And then moving from here to tree posture on the other side. You, uh, here I have a bolster on that side, so you can use a bolster or a block or something that um, brings you into a place of a little bit of discomfort but not pain. And then arms in cactus. And here we're going to stay for at least a minute. Notice any part of the body that feels tight. Use your breath to rinse and clean and wash that place. And on every exhale, Notice how some of that tightness dissolves. And then slowly come out of this posture. Bring that left knee up. Bring the right knee in. Find constructive rest. If you want to bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. And then we're going to use the strap again. Place the strap on your left foot or hold on to your leg if you don't have a strap. Stay here for a few moments. And then allow the right leg to slide out towards the floor.
and then slowly bend the left knee, bend the right knee, uh, find constructive rest. Bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, rock back and forth a few times. And then let's try to uh, you put both feet on the strap, both feet on the strap. You can stay here or if you want to, you can uh, slide the feet wide. You can remove the strap and let the, the feet go out to the sides. And then bend the knees, remove the strap. Give yourself a hug. And then we're gonna rock back and forth a few times all the way up to a seated position. Okay, we're gonna need a bolster or yeah, a bolster or something. Uh, for this. So starting with the feet as wide as the mat and letting the knees go from side to side. The alignment we are looking for is the knee close to the sole of the foot. So trying that a few times. And then let the knees go to the right side knee close to the sole of the foot turn to the back of the of your mat bring the bolster close to your right hip and then lay down on your bolster you can keep the head to one side or the other side or you can switch and we're gonna stay here for about two minutes. So once again, uh, notice your physical body, notice any tightness, imagine your breath as healing water that rinses and cleans and heals whatever needs to be rinsed, cleaned or healed.
Bring your awareness to your breathing. And then inhale and come back up. Let the knees go from side to side a few times. And then release the knees to the left side, the knee close to the sole of the foot. Turn to the back of your mat, bring the bolster close to your left hip. And then lay down. And we're gonna stay here for about two minutes. Bring your awareness to your breathing. And then inhale and come back up. Let the knees go from side to side a few times. And then we're gonna turn around and come onto our hands and knees for tabletop position. And then starting the cat cow movement. So exhale and round the back, inhale into your back bend, exhale round, inhale into your back bend. So continue doing that for a, for a while using uh, your own breathing as a guide. All right, we're gonna need a block for the next part. So starting in tabletop, extend the right foot, open up that calf muscle, breathe. And then lift that foot off the floor, circle the knee. And then place the right foot outside the right pinky. Uh, moving back and forth, forth a few times. We're going to end up in lizard posture. So you want to place the foot. You want, you want the knee to travel forward. Feel an opening in the left upper leg. And I want the knee or the foot to be under my knee. Okay, so coming into listen posture, if you want to, you can use the block and maybe place your forearms on the block. Pushing into the base of the big toe, 
trying to connect the knee and the shoulder. Now this requires a little bit more muscle to keep yourself aligned in the posture. And at the same time, releasing down. So one part of you is keeping you in alignment and the other one is allowing you to release. So push into the base of the big toe, connecting the, sh the knee with the shoulder. And releasing at the same time. Then slowly coming out of this posture. Maybe move back and forth a few times. And then finding your way back to tabletop. And then straighten the left leg, open up that calf muscle. Lifting the foot off the floor, do some um, hip circles, and then placing the left foot outside the left pinky, moving back and forth. You know where we're going. We're going to end up in lizard posture. So finding the right alignment for you, letting that left knee travel forward and we want it to we want the knee to be right over the ankle connecting the shoulder and the knee pushing into the base of the big toe and then if you want to you can use the block to place the forearms so keeping that left knee connected to the shoulder Pushing into the base of the big toe. And at the same time, allowing your body to release down closer towards the earth. Bring your awareness to your breathing. And then slowly move out of the posture, maybe back and forth a few times. And then back to tabletop. 
Let's do one down dog. One down dog, and then we're gonna go to our belly. So tuck the toes. Move back and forth a few times. And then shoot the hips up high for down dog. So let's find down one down dog for a few moments here. Pushing into the base of the index finger. And then release the knees down, forearms down, and come all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna move into Sphinx posture, placing uh, the elbows right under my shoulder, spread the fingers. Use the fingers to gently pull yourself forward the shoulders are widening, gently tuck the chin and then stay there. In Sphinx posture, a back bending posture. Stay where you are, bring awareness to your breathing. Notice how the spine is lengthening on the inhale and releasing a little deeper into the back bend on the exhale. And then release the elbows out, come all the way down, bend the knees, let the feet go from side to side. And then bring the feet as close as you can to your back body, reach back, grab onto something, your socks or your feet or something. And then stay here for a few moments. Release, place the hands under your shoulders. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale through tabletop. And then we're gonna move into child's posture. And one way to do that is to bring your knees wide and then you can have a bolster in between your knees, maybe a block underneath and then release down. You can also, if the hips are not reaching the heels, you can use the block under your hips uh, and come into child's posture uh, that way. So find something that works for you and then we'll meet in child's posture.
Inhale and come back up. Now bring the feet forward. Shake it out. And then without using the hands, do a little bit of a hip walk. To loosen up the hips in a different way. And then bend one knee. Turn to the long leg. Walk your fingers closer to the foot. And then when you find that place of discomfort, stay there. Inhale, come back up, shake it out, and then bend the other knee, turn to the long leg, walk your fingers, find a place of discomfort, not pain, and stay there. Inhale, come back up, shake it out. We're gonna do a forward fold and we're gonna stay in it a couple of minutes. So one way to do this is to keep a bolster under your knees, uh, uh, trying to tilt the pelvis forward. And so you're, so you're sitting on your sitting bones, really feel the sitting bones. And then maybe use a block either on the bolster or further forward. Sometimes you might need two blocks um, to find connection for your forehead. So sitting up tall, 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 maybe reach up high, reach up high, 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 and then fold forward, finding support for your forehead. And we're gonna stay here like a minute. Stay where you are. Notice how the inhale expands your body and how on the exhale, your arms and legs and torso get a little heavier and sink closer into the ground.
Inhale, come back up. And now we're gonna roll down onto our backs. We're gonna keep the block uh, close by. So roll down onto your back, finding that constructive rest again. Maybe bring your knees into your chest, maybe bring feet and arms up, bending the elbows, bending the knees. And then we're gonna find supported bridge posture. So using the block, you can use any, any height. Lift the hips up high, place the block under your sacrum so you feel supported. And then walk the shoulders underneath you, palms are facing up. Supported bridge posture. Bring your awareness to your sacrum and notice the connection between, between the sacrum and the block. Allow the block to support you. On the exhale, release some of your weight into the block. If you want to, you can straighten one leg a little bit or one knee. And then maybe shift to the other leg, straighten the other knee. And then come back to supported bridge posture. Now we're gonna shift the block so the block is on the lowest. So lift your hips, place the block on the lowest. And then bring one foot up towards the ceiling and then the other for a supported shoulder stand. You can keep the feet, you can keep the feet together, or if you want to, you can release the feet out wide, whatever uh, feels good for you. And then bring the feet back down, lift the hips, remove the block. Now place the feet as wide as the mat. And then release the knees to the right side, gaze to the left. Inhale, come back up. Stay in constructive rest a few moments, allowing the spine to recover. Maybe bring the feet up, maybe bring your knees into your chest. And then place the feet as wide as the mat again. Release the knees to the other side, gaze to the opposite.
Inhale, come back up to constructive rest. Give yourself a hug. And then we're getting, getting ready for Shivasana. Maybe placing the bolster under your knees to make it a little bit more comfortable. And then getting ready for Shivasana. So here we are laying on our backs. Palms are, palms are facing up. Now bring awareness to your lower belly. Imagine feeling something soft and warm. Inhale into that softness. And notice how it expands on every inhale. And then on the exhale, Allow it to spread out through your body and completely fill your body. Down through your hips, upper legs, knees, lower legs, feet and toes. From your lower belly, up through solar plexus, rib cage, lungs, heart space, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, hands and fingers. From your heart space, to your heart, throat space, neck, back of the head, crown of the head, forehead, eyes, nose, lips, jaw, and face.
wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, move your head from side to side. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Bring one knee into your chest and then the other. Roll to one side and stay there in fetal position. There's no rush. And maybe notice if you learn something new about yourself during practice. And then use your hands to push yourself up to a seated position. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra, holding your own heart in between your hands with self-love and self-compassion. Maybe bow your head in gratitude for this practice, thousands of years old. Thank your inner guide, your past, present, and future teachers, and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Raise your gaze, open your eyes, raise your gaze, and thank you so much for practicing together tonight. Namaste. Mm -hmm.